What happens when you light a match or when metal starts to rust? Why do substances react differently with each other or change into something completely new? These everyday occurrences are all thanks to what we call chemical properties. Welcome back to Classy Edits, guys, and in today's video by Sir Z, we're diving into the fascinating world of chemical properties of matter and discover what make things burn, rust, or even decompose. Let's talk science, and let's get started. While physical properties tell us what something looks or feels like, chemical properties are all about how a material behaves and reacts with other substances. Chemical properties describe a material's potential to undergo a chemical change or reaction. These properties can only be observed when a material interacts with another substance. Let's go through some key chemical properties that you'll encounter often. Flammability. Flammability is the ability of a substance to burn when exposed to fire or heat. Again, it is the ability of a substance to burn. For example, wood is flammable, which is why it is used for campfires, while metals like steel don't burn. Close to the definition of flammability is combustibility. Combustibility refers to a substance's ability to catch fire or ignite. Emphasis on the phrase to catch fire. If flammability is about a substance being able to burn, combustibility is more about a substance's ability to ignite or catch fire. Not all materials that are combustible are automatically flammable. Some materials that can burn doesn't necessarily mean they can also easily burst into flames. An example of a highly combustible substance is gasoline, which is why gasoline is used as fuel because it easily or instantly ignites. Reactivity. Reactivity refers to how easily a substance combines with another substance to form a new product. Some materials like baking soda and vinegar react very quickly, while others are more stable and less reactive. Toxicity is a chemical property that tells us how harmful a substance can be to the cell tissues of living organisms. Again, toxicity is a chemical property that tells how harmful a substance can be. Chemicals like bleach or ammonia are toxic and should be handled with care. Corrosivity is the ability of a substance to cause damage or wear away materials like metal, stone, or skin through a chemical reaction. A corrosive substance can eat away at or break down these materials over time. For example, acids like sulfuric acid are highly corrosive and can cause metal to rust or deteriorate quickly. Even household cleaners like bleach have corrosive properties and can damage surfaces if not used carefully. Understanding corrosivity helps us handle these substances safely, whether in cleaning products or industrial settings to avoid harm. Acidity or alkalinity? pH stands for potential of hydrogen, and it is used for the effective measurement of the concentration of hydrogen ions in a substance. Acids and bases are classified by their pH levels. If a substance has a pH level below 7, it is considered acidic, like, you know, lemon juice or vinegar. If the pH level is above 7, it is alkaline or basic, like baking soda or soap. While a pH level of exactly 7 means the substance is neutral, like pure water. Understanding pH helps us know how substances will react with one another. Acids and bases can neutralize each other when mixed, creating new products like water and salt. Biodegradability is another type of chemical property of matter, which is the ability of a substance to be broken down naturally by microorganisms, like bacteria or fungi, over time. Materials like paper and food waste are biodegradable, while plastics and synthetic materials take much longer to decompose, if at all possible. 
Those guys are only some of the many examples of chemical properties in substances or materials. Let's read each of them aloud together. Flammability Combustibility Reactivity Toxicity Corrosivity Acidity Alkalinity Biodegradability we will explore one of these chemical properties with a simple experiment you can try at home or in class. We'll focus on reactivity by observing the reaction between vinegar and baking soda. Experiment reactivity, baking soda and vinegar reaction. What you'll need, baking soda, vinegar, a clear container and measuring spoons. How to do it. Place a spoonful of baking soda into the container. Slowly pour vinegar over the baking soda and watch what happens. What did you observe when the vinegar touched the baking soda? Did the reaction happen immediately, or did it take time to start? What new substances were produced during the reaction? Remember guys, that chemical properties tell us how substances behave when they interact with other materials. Understanding the chemical properties of substances is important because they affect our everyday lives. Whether we're cooking, cleaning, or even building things, knowing how different materials react can help us make safer and smarter choices. For example, Knowing which substances are flammable or corrosive can prevent accidents. Recognizing how acids and bases react helps us clean better or even grow healthier plants. It's all about understanding how the world around us works, so we can use it to our advantage and avoid dangerous situations. Here are a few questions for you to answer to test your understanding of chemical properties we discussed in this video. Try answering these on your own or with a friend. First, what's the difference between flammability and combustibility? Second, why does iron rust but gold doesn't? Third, give an example of a highly reactive substance. Fourth, how can you measure the acidity or alkalinity of a substance? And finally, what is corrosion, and which substances are most likely to experience it? Now that you've got a solid understanding of chemical properties, you're ready to explore even more chemistry in your everyday life. If you enjoyed this video and find it helpful, hit the like button, share it with others, and don't forget to subscribe for more general science content. Let's keep this journey going in learning science together. This is Clazy Edits, stay creative, keep on exploring, and I will talk to you again in the next one.